Hi, I'm Mike Fidelli, I'm President of Life of the World, and um, I'm here to uh, explain to you what we just did. We are in a place called Latin Haiti, which is just north of Port-au-Prince, and today we went into City Soleil, into the heart of City Soleil, to uh, see the situation and to do a food distribution. And um, it was very intense. Um, we started off talking to the people, um, particularly the young men, to try to find the men that are, you know, are responsible for that particular village uh, in, in City Soleil. And uh, we found some men, and they took us around, and we got a video of um, this particular area. And uh, we had about eight boxes of food to feed my starving children, which we um, intended on distributing and ultimately did distribute, but um, not without a lot of chaos. Uh, as you can imagine, people in the city of are very hungry. Um, and when you see the video, you will see that people are extremely hungry and they get aggressive when they're hungry, very aggressive, to the point where the Brazilian UN, five or six Brazilian UN, had to step in and use uh, gas and uh, threaten to shoot. So, in, in addition to that, my bag was stolen, which had my passport and my wallet in it. Not a very smart thing for me to do, but um, nevertheless, it had to my passport, my wallet, and about thirty dollars U.S., which was taken. But fortunately, some men um, we negotiated giving some of the food to the some men. They went and found my bag with my passport, uh, my Haitian ID, and um, what appears to be all everything in my wallet, other than the money and some unimportant papers. So I was very thankful. But what is clear to me is. Most of the world does not understand how hungry people are in this country. The government does not come in. They even told me that today. The government doesn't come in and, and help them in their situation. It doesn't even come to see their situation. Um, so when someone like me comes in, they feel hope. They feel like someone cares. They feel there is a possibility for them. And I told them I wanted to uh, get a video to show to people in the United States the real suffering, uh, the real problems of a large majority of people in, in Haiti. Uh, and we saw it today. Um, it was dangerous. Um, it was intense. Um, as I said, they were very aggressive because, not because they're bad people, but because they're hungry. They have no one to help them. They have to fight for their lives to live. Um, something that we can't fully understand. So, I want to express to you, um, first of all, those of you who have helped life of the world for uh, some time, I want to express my appreciation to you. And I also want to continue to tell the story of these. Uh, it is my, uh, so important to me, tell you also that even, even my presence, even our presence, gives them hope. And when someone has hope, the misery, the suffering, the, um, the feeling of um, uh, sadness is lifted from them, at least temporarily, because they feel their lives have hope. So, even being there this morning, we we saw that, we saw happiness on their face because they felt someone cared. But more people need to care. More need, people need to give of themselves and their substance for God's children in the world. Um, it's ordinary people who have a heart of compassion, ordinary people who have, who have um, a love for others who are without who make a difference. I want to thank you for caring enough to listen, and God bless you.
this day, July 11th, 2009.